Next, we are going to see or we are going to talk about the veins that are present on a leaf. So, veins provide support for the leaf and transport both water and minerals and food energy through the leaf to the rest of the plant. So, the main function of the leaf is to provide, sorry, the veins is to provide support to the leaf and it transports food, water, minerals, water, minerals and food energy through the leaf to the rest of the plant. Leaves provide food and air to help a plant stay healthy. So the leaves provide food and air to help a plant stay healthy and grow. Through photosynthesis, leaves turn light energy into food. So the sunlight absorbed by the chlorophyll is then converted into food. So through photosynthesis, leaves turn light energy into food. Through pores or stomata, leaves breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. So as I've told you on the underside of the leaves there are tiny holes present called stomata. So these stomata breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe, breathe out oxygen and the oxygen that is given out by the leaves or by the plant are used by humans and animals to breathe. So veins provide support for the plant and transport food, water and minerals through the leaf to the remaining parts of the plant. Leaves provide food and air to help a plant to grow healthy. Through photosynthesis, leaves turn light energy into food. Through pores or stomata, leaves breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Leaves also release water much like how we sweat, like how human beings sweat, leaves also leave out excess water. There are two different types of leaves. So coming to the leaves, there are two different types of leaves. That is your simple and compound leaves. Some plants have leaves which also assist in the process of reproduction. So where some plants are concerned, leaves not only prepare food but also help in the process of reproduction. So we have seen that leaves provide food and air for the plants to remain healthy and grow. And through photosynthesis, the leaves turn light energy into food. And through pores or stomata, leaves breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Leaves also release water much like we sweat. And there are two different types of leaves that is your simple leaf and your compound leaf. In some plants, leaves not only help in the manufacture of food but also help in reproduction. So there are three types of plants namely. So apart from the leaves, now when we take into consideration the plants, there are three types of plants. So plants are classified into three different types. So namely your shrubs. So you have the shrubs, you have your trees and climbers. So there are three types of plants namely your shrubs, your trees and your climbers. So the plants which are small and have short lifespan are called shrubs. They are small. So shrubs are small and have short lifespan. So shrubs are plants that are small and have a very short lifespan. The the plants which are very big and so plants that are very big and have a 
longer life span are known as trees very big and longer life span so we have seen that there are three types of plants that is your shrubs your trees and your climbers and shrubs are plants that are small and have a short life span and trees are plants that are very big and have a longer life span so these are the functions of the leaves the veins and the types of plants that is your shrubs your trees and your climbers